Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the trend that you've been seeing everywhere all over YouTube which is how I used to do my makeup versus how I do it now. So before we get started make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe and stay tuned to see the before versus now. Okay so first off I'm just going to clip my hair up to get it out of my way. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the, the before. So before I actually did not really put too much on. It's kind of pretty basic. I did not moisturize my skin before. I did not prime my skin and I used to love the Maybelline Fit Me, the hydration and smooth. I still love this foundation. Do I use it now? No. So I'm just gonna go and pour some on the back of my hand. That's what I used to do. As you can see, you're gonna see the shade is really dark. And then I would take a brush. Oh my god, look at the color. It's so dark for me. I don't know what I was thinking. I am definitely not this tan. It looks so orange. So what I'm going to do is like do the base first for both sides and then go in step by step for the other sides. So now for this side, which is my current side, I moisturize. So I use the Clinique uh, 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. This is my second big bottle. Just take some with my nail. Don't mind what my nail broke. And my girl has not been available to fix it. I do use an eye cream, but I recently just ran out of my eye cream. And I forgot to stock up because I thought I had more. So I'm just going to take this under my eyes as well. Don't forget your neck, boys and girls. But then I go in with a primer. I use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I love this. You don't need too much because I'm only doing half the face. Sometimes I do mix two primers. I'll use the, I think it's Cover FX um, Blurring Primer. Just for like, um, sometimes my forehead and like little areas where I have like pores, which is usually like on my cheek right here. And I like to, I feel like it makes, I have like little lines here, wrinkles. So I like to cover it with that and I feel like it makes the application a lot more smoother. Also for this side, while I do my makeup after I finish my base, I go in with a lip balm. I'm just going to do it all over. I never used to do that before, but I do that now. And then for foundation, I actually like to use Face and Body by MAC because it's very, very lightweight. And then for concealer, I like to use um, the Born This Way by Too Faced, the multi-use sculpting and concealer. I like the shade vanilla or light beige. I'm gonna go in with actually light beige and I'm actually just gonna conceal the area before I apply my foundation. So I just like to put some right in the inner corner, right here and right there. And then I do get some redness around my nose. And if I notice I have any blemishes, I usually just like to cover the blemishes is my bad side right now because I'm I don't know if you can see it through the camera but I am breaking out and it's going to my neck and I used to not really blend my foundation to my neck questionable really questionable and then I go in with my damp beauty blender and I just blend for face and body shake it really well because it's very liquidy i'm just gonna take some on the back of my hand about that much usually that would go for my entire face so i did just waste some product but it's fine and then i'm just gonna 
Tab it all over. And then with my beauty blender, I'll usually go in with whatever is left on my thing, but I have a lot left. I'm not going to take all of it. And then I blend it in. Trust me, I know I look crazy right now, but trust the process. <laughs> I got my hair done but I feel like you can't really see the color properly on the thing and I also put some castor oil in my hair because it is really really dry right now mixed with some coconut oil yeah oh my god can you guys see the difference like this actually matches my skin versus this I literally look like a pumpkin I'm so So after I do that, I'm just going to go over like any concealer just to make sure there is no creases. And look at that. It just literally looks like skin so nice and buttery. And then what I do on this side, I never used to set my face. Never. I would just go in straight with products. I now set my entire face even though I do have more of like drier skin. First, I'm going to go in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Plus to set my under eyes before I go in with a loose powder, like it's too big. So I just take some on my beauty blender. And then what I do is, let me find my powder. I go in with, right now I'm using the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I love this because it feels like it's wet on the skin and you do have to keep it closed to keep it cool. And I like it because it's very, very lightweight and you don't really feel it on your skin. So I just take some like that. I'm just gonna tuck it in. I don't really bake. I just press it into my under eyes. Do you see that? Look at this. Look at my dark circles here. I look a little more awake here. But wait till I, right now I look very pale. But once I add my bronzer, my brows, oh my God. Speaking about brows, how I used to do my brows versus how I do them now, questionable. My makeup before it was even questionable. So after I do that, now I set my entire face. This is optional. You don't have to. You can go in straight with your prop powders. I feel like every time I set my face, I my makeup does last a lot longer. I don't have to touch up throughout the day. I'm not really the person that likes to touch up throughout the day. So once it's on, the only thing I like to touch up is like my lipstick. And if like maybe if I don't have lash extensions, my eyelash is coming off. MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. This is amazing because I'm using such a light coverage foundation that if I want to add coverage to certain areas, like if I have blemishes, like right here, you can see like my cheeks, there's a little bit of like redness still peeking through a little bit of like pimples. It's almost that time of the month. So in any breakout, so I just take it on a, like a fluffy brush and I can just press it into the skin. I also like to do it all over because I feel like once I set it, when I'm putting bronzer, blush, highlighter, I feel like everything goes on a lot more smoother and it's not patchy. I don't like when it looks patchy versus what you're going to see here. It looks a lot more patchier. So, bronzer. I don't remember what bronzer I used to use before. Now I like to use, honestly, Fit Me. They're... Um, set and smooth powders but i like the darker shades i use 355 in coconut or 330 which is toffee i like to mix these two to get my perfect like contour shade for the side first i go in with toffee swirl it in a little bit see it's like very cute and natural 
and we'll take some of my forehead samples and then I just blended it then I go in with coffee right no sorry coconut I'll make sure to link everything down below I use or if I can find links to the things that maybe you can't find and so I think you can find them on Amazon I'll make sure to do that then I go on with coconut right on top just to deepen it up I feel like it looks so much more intense on camera than it does in person because in person it barely shows okay and then I'm just gonna use the same one for this set I could just go I used to not wear blush, so I would literally do this. I used to hate blush. Then I used to not put it on my forehead. You see the dimension? It looks like it's almost one color. Questionable. Really questionable. Then, blush. I now love blush. I'll go in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Sweeten Up. This is one of my favorite all-time blushes. It's really lightweight. You can build up the coverage. So I go in with that. With just a little blush brush. Put it on my cheekbones. I like to smile when I'm doing this. And then just blend it all together. And if I feel like I want a little more pink, I, if you haven't tried these, you should try them, which is the um glow play blush they are a cream to powder blush from mac and if you can see like if i put my finger it's very like spongy feels so good you can actually just use your finger you can take a little bit because i like the color i like to take some down the bridge of my nose And then I like to mix my blush with my bronzer at the top right here. And then the fun part, highlight, highlight. Personally, my favorite highlight right now is the Ambrizi X Anastasia Beverly Hills. can see this it's not really primed it's not set so you can see the crease is already starting to form where this is like crease free they're like crease we don't know her so i'm gonna go in with eyebrows so a classic and as i said the brow i use the shade medium brown that's what i used to love using the most for my eyebrows before <laughs> clear brow gel this is the from mac it's the clear brow gel take some put it into my brows going up to have a little more of a fluffier brow i go in with actually a pencil a very thin pencil i use the mac eyebrow styler in spiked and i also like to use the Velex brown sorry brow liner in taupe in the front of my brow because it's a lot lighter than the spike do what i used to do with this eye for my eye makeup I would take an eyeliner. I would probably use a liquid. I don't have a liquid now. I just have a felt tip. This is Brush Black from MAC. But I would do this. I wouldn't even put on eyelashes. So it'd be this, then I would take like a white eyeshadow 
any white eyeshadow. I'm gonna take the one from Morphe X Jaclyn Hill in this shade VIP. I'm gonna take a pencil brush. And this is like white light. And I used to put that in the window corner. But that's literally what I would do. Take white, pack it there, bring it down. And that was my eye makeup. Versus now, like my personal go-to. I'll go in with the Imrezi palette. You love this palette, because the colors in here, so pretty. I'll go in with like Morphe M504, which is a really fluffy brush. I'll go in with the shade New Yorker and OG. I'll mix them to tap off the excess, and then just work this into my crease and my outer V. Another palette that I love, that I use a lot, is the Violet Voss. It's essential. I have it right here. This. It's literally your essentials. The colors in here, sorry, mine's really dirty. And I have hit pan for a lot of them, as you can see. But this, so pretty and so pigmented. I love it. I seriously love it. So after I do that, whatever's remaining on my brush, I'll bring it all the way into the inner corner and kind of connect it to my nose because I would contour my nose. And then fluff it out. See, so cute, so simple. You can go in with another brush or you can use the same brush. I'm actually just gonna use the same brush. And I'm gonna go in with the shade 1988. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna use the brush that's in here. I've never used it, let's use it. Cause it, it's a little more tapered. It's the, just the Anastasia. So 1988, I'm gonna take some, tap it off. And I'm gonna place that right in the outer corner. And then working it up into the crease. And I'm gonna start off very light handed. As you can see, there's not too much and then slowly build it up. After I have that, I'm gonna go back in with my first brush and go with to New Yorker on its own. And I'm just gonna place it in the inner corner. I'm gonna go in with the color Dragon, which is this like bronzy shade it's so pretty take that on a flat i'm using the bedellium 773 i'm just gonna place it on my and then for my inner corner highlight I'm gonna go in with the shade Barb. Okay, I don't have the brush I'm looking for, but I'm gonna go and use I'm gonna use my eyebrow brush. And then here, I'm gonna go in with the shade Yugo and BK, which is like a really dark brownie plum with a black. Mix those two. And I'm just gonna go so close to my lash line. I first go in with the spike pencil, so it's very small felt tip. I'm just gonna create hair like strokes. I like the telescopic. What I do now is I take an eyelash curler. I slightly curl my lashes. 
I still use, I still do like the telescopic. But what I do now is I just apply a thin layer because I do wear falsies. Like I feel like this eye just looks a lot more droopier. And I haven't even applied the lashes yet. So I'm gonna go ahead, apply the lashes on this side and then I'll come right back. So I popped on some Ardell Wispies on this eye. So cute. They're so small, like I don't like anything too dramatic. And then now onto the lips. I liked really dark colors like Rebel, classic from Max. MAC. Men love mystery. Do you see all these purples? Do I wear that now? No. I literally stick to my nudes. Media, which is really dark. Or I used to like um what's this called? Beauty Mark by NYX. I'm gonna go in with actually Beauty Mark. I never used to line my lips. So I would just go in. So now I'll go in with a lip liner. So this is um, over from MAC, a really nice one. My personal go-to is Strip Down, mixing it with Chestnut or Cork. But I like Even Hover, because I feel like it's gonna match the look really nice. So once I've got the lip liner, I'm gonna go in with the lipstick. I'm just gonna use the Stila Stay All Day Lip with Lipstick. I don't remember the shade, the shade actually rubbed off, but I'll try to find it and I'll link it down below. I never used to set my face before. Now I do, or like I like to use like a like Mac Fix Plus. I like the coconut scent. I love coconut, um, just to also refresh my face. And since I use all the powders, just so it can melt into my skin. And here is the final look. Oh my God! So back in the days, I don't know, maybe like five years ago. So kind of when I was like in high school, what I would wear versus like what I wear now. A lot has changed. A lot has changed. Like let's talk about the brows, the eyes. Like my eyeliner is almost like my entire eyelid. It's covered on my entire eyelid. And then the lip. The lip is beautiful. Would I wear it now? Probably not because I like a really neutral lip. And sometimes I do like to go a little more intense with the eyes. But for the eyes, I like to keep it very minimal. Sometimes I'll even just use my bronzer and whatever highlight I'm wearing that day pop it into the crease and call it a day sorry not the crease on my lid but yeah so let me know what you think and let me know when you started to wear makeup make sure to like comment share and subscribe until next time peace